Hello, good evening friends. God bless you. And today I wanted to spend some time in a very fascinating story you will find in Old Testament. Uh, it's a book of First King chapter 18. Uh, you need to read the story by yourself. The major players in the stories are Elijah and King, ah king Ahab. Uh, he, he, was, he was the wickedest king in Israel and his queen uh, Jezebel was known to kill the prophets of God um, and then they had a servant named Obadiah. Obadiah. Um, he, there are 13 different Obadiah in Old Testament but uh, this is not the uh, prophet who wrote the book of Obadiah. This is the servant or the chief servant in uh, King Ahab's palace. Um, and but my focus is not on none of them but the story is about uh, 100 prophets no names are given uh, and the story is uh, evolving around the darkest time and before that uh, i think that you can we can realize our own life um, and we may be finding ourselves in a totally chaotic situation but this story brings some hope. King Ahab was the wickedest king and uh, he married a, a Sidonian queen Jezebel and uh, she brought uh, with her the idol worshipping and uh, King Ahab uh, basically followed whatever the, her, his king queen was telling. And the first thing the queen did was to killing all the prophets. Where she finds the prophet of, of Yahweh or a God of Israel, she would kill them. So to be a prophet in this time is a very, very risky situation. Even if we know the story that Elijah, uh, Elijah lamented that God, she has killed all the, all the prophet of God and I only I am the one who has survived. So it is known that she is a cruel queen and a king is cruel too. On top of that, when the, the rulers are bad, on top of that, there is a famine in the, in the, in the land. And it's not one day or two day. And if you read First King chapter 18, when God asked Elijah to appear to King Ahab, three years has already been passed. So it is not a, it is not a, a one day or two day thing. It is a long time of famine. You have a very wicked king, you have darkness all around. You are fearing for your life. And on top of that, there is a famine. There is no food and there is no water. You might be having the same situation in your life where everything is black. There is no hope. There is no one to turn to. You cannot knock anybody's door or nobody will come to your rescue. But Obadiah, a servant of, of God, who fears God. By the way, his name, meaning of his name is worshiper of, worshiper of God. He hid hundred prophets in two caves, fifty in each. And not only that, he provided bread and water for them. Now think about the risk he was taking. He was taking a huge risk. He could have been killed immediately. Even he, he knew that his risk because when um, when Elijah went on one, uh, sorry, Ahab went on one side and, and Obadiah, you need, need to read the story. And Obadiah was talking to Elijah and he says that, hey, you are telling me to go and tell uh, King Ahab that you are here, but you will, Spirit of Lord will take you somewhere and we will not find you and he will kill me he knows that what will what could have happened what could happen with him so he is fearing for his life but in spite of that he was providing food and water and a shelter and a protection to hundred prophets as i said my focus is not on much on obadiah, obadiah or or uh, Elijah, but there's hundred prophets. This hundred prophets has a no name. You could be in a situation where nobody knows you. You are nobody. 
and then you don't know where your food will come from because all the resources all the hopes has crashed you are left alone there is no one to look after you no food no water no shelter and you knew that you are a, a marked person you will be hunted down you will be killed you will be destroyed everything whatever you have will be taken away from you and you will think that who will come to my rescue if you are one of these hundred prophet the life is really dark if you are one of these hundred prophet there is no hope for you if you are one of these hundred prophet there is no tomorrow and you might be thinking the lord what will happen to me but in those time god is raising for your rescue for your protection for your for your redemption obadiah and then do you think that where obadiah was getting all this rash of all this food and water there is a famine there is no place to find i bet he is getting it from the palace from king's portion so the king and queen who wanted to kill the prophet from their own resources god is feeding this 100 prophet so if you are desperate tonight you don't have to worry about nothing because from your fear or from your the things that are haunting you from the same place god will bring you a restoration a rescue a protection a provision god is a wonderful god this hundred prophet did not know what will happen but god knows what they need they they have no names you might be thinking you are so insignificant who cares for you no you are not insignificant god knows you by name and he loves you and he cares for you and he will move heaven and earth to meet your need because he loves you it has nothing to do with how good you are how bad you are but you are his son and you are his daughter so he will do everything to meet your need the thing that you are afraid of will become your springboard and it will it will pro, it will it will move you an exceptional speed to the next destination where you will have everything what you need so friends read this story it's a remarkable story don't feel that you are alone don't feel that nobody has seen you no don't feel that that nobody knows you the god of universe has fixed his eyes on you and he's telling you you are mine i love you i care for you and i will do everything to meet your need may god bless you thank you